So last calibration before bed, you can see the finger stick is 6.5, the 640G is 7.3 and the VO is 7.7, .7, so still tracking pretty good. So we run back through the day first on the 640G. Okay, so you can see the 24 hour clock, you can see from last night there was a big suspend before low between half 12 and 1 which didn't wake me up because I had the alarms off and averted the hyper which was great. And then you can see all the way through till 10 o'clock in the morning was all in target, I had my bolus for breakfast there. But as you can see again at lunchtime, I over bolused, causing a drop. And the suspending basal here wasn't enough to prevent the drop. Um, so again, a learning that when you over bolus, the, the, the miss basal doesn't work. But then during the second part of the day, well, the last part of the day, you can see here, it's pretty much in target. And there was a little suspend before low here. I'm just going to work back and show you what that was. So the last three hours here. And this is where I went to the gym here, and you can see the suspend before lows kicked in, and actually again prevented the hypo. So all in all, pretty effective day, pretty on target, which is good. And I'm off to bed, off to bed again tonight to um, hopefully not have no suspend before lows before bed, but it's pretty decent BG. So look, 7.3 in target, no arrows. 1.5 active insulin to compensate for my tea that I've had, um, so that it, that food's still in my stomach. Sometimes people get a bit of work, bit worried about going to bed with active insulin on, but that active insulin's still working in my body because it's food that's been undigested. So let's see how we go tonight. In comparison with the Veo, let's have a look. Okay, so this is over the 24 hours. Ooh. So again, you can see this is running into the night, and this is here where I would have got a low predictive here, but that's where the, the 640G suspended and prevented me from going low. And then you can see this dip here is where I over bolused at lunchtime, and again we're moving on into the night where again the suspend before low which kicked on the 640G, which would have been an alarm, um, is, is there. So again, I would have probably had about one, two, three, four, five, maybe four or five alarms here that I didn't get with a 640G. So in terms of accuracy, they both seem to be quite similar, but in terms of preventing the hypos, the 640G is certainly doing its job um, and I'm getting a lot less alarms so I'm not, not thinking about my diabetes as much. So, so far so good. Off to bed, um, 10 to 10, well, 20 to 10, that's uh, my bedtime. Sad, sad times. See you in the morning.